Taking marijuana used to be a countercultural thumbing of the nose at authority. Being subversive meant getting rip shit blitzed on jazz lettuce, listening to Pink Floyd, and chowing down on some munchies. It's since been legalized across over a dozen states, with medical marijuana available in over a dozen more. The once stigmatized weed has transformed from counterculturally cool to mainstream cool. You may have noticed this shift coincided with an uptick in the amount of marijuana related stories we've been covering here on the feed. For instance, you may remember our story about the Humboldt County mom who spun a single marijuana plant into a multi-million dollar weed empire after disowning her son for secretly growing that plant in their backyard. Did you like that one? I hope so, because I'm Brian Gutierrez, and this week on the feed, we're really hoping you've been liking our bombardment of marijuana content, and we just want to ask, do you think we're cool now? To get a better sense of whether we're cool now, I'm bringing in the feed's social media manager, Emily Pottsville. Welcome to the show, Emily. Thank you for having me on. Absolutely. And in the spirit of being cool in regards to marijuana, I just want to let you know that if you are rip shit blitzed out of your frickin' gourd right now, that's totally fine because marijuana is cool. But the question is, are we cool now that we talk about it all the time? Well, Brian, I'm sorry to report that the meter on our coolness hasn't moved a whole lot since we started relentlessly churning out marijuana-themed episodes to coincide with SEO trends. Oh, bullshit. Are you serious? I'm afraid so, Brian. The general consensus seems to be that listeners can see right through our facade. A lot of them are saying that we couldn't even roll a joint to save our lives. All right, they got me there, but they must have been impressed with our five-part special on the best snacks to eat while high, right? Not at all, Brian. Uh, a lot of them said it was a hacky premise that was terribly executed. Listeners strongly disagreed with the third episode of that series in particular. The one about roasted balsamic glazed Brussels sprouts? That's the best one! What else are you supposed to eat when you're riding a tsunami of euphoria? Cookies? Cake frosting? I might be high, but I'm not an animal. Well, that kind of goes hand in hand with people not being big fans of your previous position on marijuana back before it became a trendy cash cow. Oh, well, look, okay, about that. When marijuana was first being legalized, I was against it. I'll be the first to admit that everyone here at the feed used to be all all four mandatory 20-year prison sentences per ounce of weed for first-time offenders. But hey, people change. Now I run a book club where we get high and read Karl Marx every other Sunday. The only reason we were so anti-pot before is because that was just what was cool among our affluent peers. But now all those affluent peers own dispensaries and CBD mall kiosks. I still don't know what CBD is, and after having drank a two-liter bottle of it, I'm still not sure what it does. But it is marijuana adjacent, which means it's cool, and I hope rubbing it all over myself rubs some of its cool off on me. I mean, my God, I am up to my nuts in marijuana and its several byproducts. I'm wearing a hemp shirt with a joint in the shirt pocket, and beneath all of that is skin marinating in CBD moisturizer. What more do you fuckers want from me? If marijuana recipes that swap out oregano for weed don't make me cool, then what the hell does? I can't get a tattoo of a whisk on my forearm like all the cool foodies. It'll take up the spot for my Disney princess arm sleeve that I've been saving up for for years. That's where Ariel's gonna go. I'm... Sorry? Fuck you're sorry. We have 12 more marijuana episodes in the can, goddammit. You tell me what I'm supposed to do with the episode about the white kid in Portland who made a fortune after opening a marijuana stand in his front yard. Or, or, or the one about the black kid in Mississippi who did the exact same thing and is now in prison for 25 years. I mean, it's just not fair. Why can't I have something that makes me cool? I don't know, Brian. I think the flame decals on your inhaler are pretty cool. Thanks for the report, Emily. Look, I guess I'll just learn to be happy being an uncool food dork. Hope you ungrateful pieces of shit like episodes about metric versus imperial measurements because that's all you're getting, but certainly not next week because next week on the feed, we've got a whole new episode about marijuana that will bring me no closer to dating one of those Coachella Instagram hippies with the flower crowns. But uh, do me a favor and uh, cut that part out so my wife doesn't hear it. Brian, you do remember that you made me set this up as an impromptu Instagram live stream, right? I did? Yeah. Do you know if my wife's watching? Uh, she said yes in the stream chat. Um, now she's saying middle fingers and now uh, a knife with the eggplant emoji. Uh, it goes on like that for a while. Okay. Okay. Follow us on Twitter at inaudiblecast and throw a few of your hard-earned bucks over at our Patreon every month, which you can find at patreon.com slash inaudiblepod. Any little bit you can give helps me cover the costs of my divorce attorneys. Play the goddamn outro music, please. <laughs>